Grazie mille, ciao! Wow, that is some exposure! Good bike! Thank you! And let's check out the um, Malga Campo Trail, that's supposed to be a black diamond starting from uh, Monte Altissimo. Actually, you can start from the refugio with a cup of espresso and then get ready. Grazie mille. Starts off a bit bumpy. quite a while up here so some of the rocks feel a bit slippery nice so far rough trail definitely on the same the black grading Ooh. There's a lot of hikers today, so also be a bit careful about them. Tire got stuck there between two, two rocks. There's a few different ways you can get to the Malga Campo Trail. You can uh, you can actually take the lift up from Melsesina to uh, to Monte Baldo, and then there's a there's a small climb up to the lift of the I actually also think there's a couple of uh, bike shuttles going from uh, Tabola up to Monte Baldo that you can also consider taking. Speaking of approaches, you can actually also uh, climb the entire mountain down from uh, Tavola <laughs> if you want some, some really type 2 fun <laughs> and to get the, uh, the legs uh, warmed up. Definitely a scenic trail. This is what the uh, all mountain is about, isn't it? Ooh. 
Ooh, just lost the back tire there for a moment. It's a nice exposed traverse. Monza Altissimo, there's actually also some other really nice trails. There's the 601 that uh, follows the whoops, hi. <laughs> that follows uh, the other side of uh, Monza Altissimo back down to uh, to Val di Aole actually. So you can combine the 601 with Val di Aole if you want to do that, or Coast Trail, uh, or you can take a Navine down to uh, Malcesina if you started back there. Ah, oh, it's a bit windy here. Buongiorno. need to uh, get on the other side of this fence. Let's see. you heard anything from all of that wind noise but you can actually combine um, Malte, uh, uh, Malgo Campo with Valpiahol uh, down the valley Gravity Park up here that has two uh, quite a technical uh, fast downhill trails which and if you do combo uh, Malga Campo together with one of those two trails you'll actually get like I don't know 10k of, uh, of downhill and enduro fun so uh, that might be good A bit of off camber there. 
a big rock It's nice meeting all the hikers out here. It's definitely also a nice place to be hiking, I would say. Ciao! La strada, attento! Bellissima bici! Good bike! Thank you! Enjoy the... Uh, the... <laughs> Yes, this is something you need to live with when you're biking here at the Garda Lake. Ah. That these really natural trails often it's just like ah, totally lost the flow there. It's like it's natural trails, they're not necessarily built for biking. So sometimes you meet obstacles like that small fence that we had to get, get through. But I also think that's, that's also what makes this a special challenge and a really fine destination for mountain biking. That it is so natural. It's not groomed bikepack trails that you'll find in other places. It is, it is the nature you're riding. some exposure <sighs> whoa <laughs> smooth single track deep in the mountains so nice more technical <laughs> And that water pipe is not making it easier. <laughs> Thank you. 
definitely not going to to bike up that thing. Ugh. Seems like the last part or the lower part of of the Malga Campe, Malga Campo trail kind of changes a bit of characteristics here and becoming more uh, foresty for the latter part down to uh, Refugio Malga where the trail ends and becomes more of a, a normal forest uh, fire road so let's see how the latter part goes so far so good mm. More Rudy. Small climb, but the soil was very loose, really hard to keep traction. Ciao! Buongiorno! Little bit of saddle work. That was that a bit too early. The trail was mellow, but, but I kind of cornered it a bit, a bit too late. Almost lost it there. There is the refugio. So this marks the end. Ah. 